Hey yo guys, this is for day two of the little New Year's uh, fan fiction readings. And here's a little, this one has a lot of JoJo references. I want you to guess which ones they are. <laughs> but uh, this one's a special little, I'm not sure if I would call this one a one-off or if I would make it official, but eh. But it's... Midoriya, or it's a Midoriya X listener written by Eos to a life. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's continue. You sat before your beloved with your hands firmly planted on the ground. You didn't think that it'd come to this. You didn't think that he'd get wary. And you never thought that you'd catch feelings for someone. But the truth comes out, and it's coming out now. You used your quirk to quickly weld Izuka to the floor. Listener, why are you doing this? I thought that you were friends with everyone here. So how could you? How could you lie about coming here when you were a villain? Midoriya shouted, with tears welling in his eyes. And our relationship. Did it mean nothing to you? The sounds of Midoriya demanding for answers ring through the air. But your voice, calm yet still saddened, cut through the audible air anger like a knife. Please, allow me to explain. The boy fell quiet, with only one voice being heard. Yours. I, listener, was born and raised in Europe, Calabria, Italy to be exact. Way before I got here, back when I was only a child, I had a family. A family that loved and cherished me. We'd go to the farmer's market every Saturday. Izuku interrupted your little story. But what does that have to do with, you'll see, you replied swiftly. One Saturday, on our normal market run, my parents saw something. Something that they weren't supposed to see. A mafioso killing an innocent person. Now, if some person were lucky in that situation, they'd have silence smacked into them. And by that I mean beaten to near death. But my parents weren't those lucky people. To put it bluntly, they were murdered. And more simply, for the light of heart, I lost something that day. Tears threatened to pour from your eyes. And the passione that pushed me forward is gone. I was forced onto the streets, where, shockingly, one day I was invited into the same mafia that had killed my parents. So, I hatched a plan. Evade that group's watchful eye. Come here to Japan under the guise of wanting to spread their power. Get a hero's license, go back to Italy, and ruin their horrible organization from the inside out. You crossed your arms. What I'm getting at here is that I don't fight, and I don't like to lose what's mine. But if I did lose something, or someone, your brows furrowed as you got up and walked towards the love of your life, grabbing him by both of his hands then I will not sleep, day or night, until I find whoever took them from me 